Hello everyone, this is Thursday, and then what do we do on Thursday, y'all? We go thrifting, because it's Senior Day at Salvation Army. And for the last few weeks, I've been putting out a video called Senior Thrifting, which is probably going to be an every Thursday uh, event, unless I don't go thrifting that day. But I did, and I didn't get a whole lot of craft supplies per se, most people wouldn't see them as craft stuff anyway. But, I did get things that I will use for my crafts there. <clears throat> Today, the colors were pink and green. Everything green was half off. Everything pink was a dollar. And then, you get 25% discount for being a senior on top of that. So... These were here last week, and I almost got them, and then I thought, no, I'll just wait. There was a bunch of them. Surely, they'll go down in price. Now, let me find the price. $5.99, so it cost me $2.99, basically, $2.98. And that's what these, you see these, I use these upstairs, I also use these downstairs, they, they work really well, they work really well wet with the uh, casting powder stuff. And these are the big ones, but they cover my whole phone, you can't even get the whole thing in. Let me put it, yeah, they're big. You, you could cut them in fours and have the regular size sponge scrubbies. And I don't know how many is in here. Let me see. There are 15 of them in here. So if I cut them in fours, that means I would have 60 of them for $2.98. So yeah, that was a great deal. Okay, and then you've seen me buy these before. Well, they were pink, so I paid a dollar for them. They have the dovetail edges, and uh, they're just for a, a wooden box with a slider top, a dollar. And I bought the two that they had, because I'd already bought some of them, and I paid two dollars for them, half price. And so now I have four of those boxes to play with. This right here, I know what it says what it's for. <laughs> that is not what I'm using it for. And if Rose hadn't have made me those wonderful acrylic uh, cup holders, which I do use. You don't see them much because they're over on the side. Because uh, I don't show you me mixing stuff up much anymore uh, but I do use those quite a bit but this was a size that I did not have and even though that's not what this is this is actually N Nutra system oh meal measure uh -huh. this is easy portion control on your plate oh so you're supposed to put that on your plate you're supposed to set that on your plate and you can fill up whatever you want. Starts. Or maybe I should do this because I would love that much potatoes. I can't eat potatoes. Fruit or veggies. I can't even eat most fruit. And then protein. Always more meat. Well, you know, that's, that's a given. Uh, lean meat, preferably. But starch is out for us. And that's out for us. So we could do those too. No, that's not why I got that. I got it. Let's see. Let me move my chair. I was down here cleaning. I 
yes that's what i was hoping for these are the solo cups that i use all the time and that is a perfect fit can i get all three of them nope i can't get three but i can get two can i get a smaller one in here which i probably don't need more than two anyway i could get that one in there with those two and see And that's why I got it. And if Rose had not have ever sent me that, I, it would not even dawned on me to use that for that. But because she did send me those, first thing I saw was, ooh, cup holder. So, and it's really lightweight. And what did I pay for it? Oh. Let me look at the what did I do with the little thing? Oh, I put it in this bag. It was green, so it was half off. So I paid a dollar forty-nine for this. And then I got this. It's heavy. I had to empty my trash can out today too, and boy, that's a chore. It's a big outside garbage can. <clears throat> and y'all don't see a lot of this because it's all behind the scenes, uh, not during a video. But I have to come down here at least twice a week and and thoroughly clean and take everything off of here, scrub it all down, wash all my utensils and my tools that I use. I'll go over to the other table where I've got all my um, heat mats and, and all that kind of stuff. And I've got to reorganize that and clean all that. I have sweeped the floors down here. Um, it's just uh, it's a lot of stuff that you don't see uh, most crafters doing. Okay, I got this shirt. And it, it should be, I'm hoping, yeah, it's an extra, extra large green tea. And I'm hoping it will be really baggy. And it's tie-dye. And I think it is going to be really baggy. And it is long. I've already looked. But it's got the rounded. And and I can get these little things right here. I can get off. I've got this little thing. This electric thing. To get all that off of there with. But I loved I loved the way the shirt uh, was made. And, and the material that it's made out of. And the fact that it's going to be oversized. It was just, it, it, it was a, a a nice shirt. And it's been used. But I don't have a problem with that either. As long as there's not holes and stuff. And there's not. Um, and I love the bottom of it. And... Where was this made? It's got round polyester and spandex. Is it that stretchy? Oh, it is stretchy. It just felt really good. The quality of it. But it, the fact that it was tie-dye. And, of course, it was blue. Which y'all know is my favorite color. So, I got that. And I paid $2.99. It was not. It's, it's blue. That's how you can tell. Blue. And uh, I paid two ninety nine because that's the price of all their tops. And I will wash that, and I will take that little. Oh, I can't remember what that's called. It's that little electric thing, and you go in it, moves around there. <laughs> Somebody's going to know what that is, and they're going to leave it in the comments. Okay. Now this right here, I have to say, I bought this strictly because of what a viewer left in the, the comments. If, if she had not left it in the comments, it would never have crossed my mind. Not at all. And she will know who she is when she sees this. Now I'm going to have to move this around a little bit, and I'm hoping... That I can without breaking it. Um, 
and if I break it then I'll just glue it back but my plans are <laughs> they have safety pins on here I think this was actually uh, supposed to be a jury uh, holder I'm not real positive but I don't think it was a, a safety pin holder but I thought okay I could do this I could most definitely do this and no oh, that's that came off okay that's okay I can resin it and I may I may make all of them come off before it's over with so I can move it around the way that I want it shaped anyway <laughs> some of them move easier than others Uh-oh, I broke that one off. That's okay. Oh, I broke that one off too. <laughs> you know what? I may make a mold out of these instead of using this. I don't know. But the whole purpose, and I can, I can resin these back on here. Um... Uh, and I can put them the way that I want them on here. Like that one, I would like there. This one, I would like right here. But the reason why I got it is because she said something about my birds and doing a tree with birds in it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I was going to paint this white. And then I was going to make all different color birds. And I was going to, I hope y'all are seeing this. You see how they just set on there? Of course, I'm going to glue them on. And I thought about putting some leaves. Uh-oh. I just dropped a bird. There it is. Okay. But you can get some kind of idea. I think that's all the birds I have anyway left. But you can get some kind of idea on how that would look. And I am going to paint it white. And then put some some leaves and stuff. But can you see that? See, that's just really cool. And I did pay $2.99 minus my 25% discount. And I don't mind that these broke, actually. I'm sort of glad they did. And, and that allows me to redo it a little bit. I can always put those back on there. I can use that weld bond, too, to put them back on there if I wanted to. Or I may recreate this and put some air dry clay and put some real texture in here and maybe some leaving and I don't know. 
But because she left me that comment about doing a, a bird cage or maybe a tree, and I saw that, I thought, oh, I have to get that. And, and that is the reason why, and I think it's going to look great when I'm done with it. And when I decide how I'm going to do it, I'll bring you all along on the journey, and we'll do it together. Okay. So this stuff is wrapped. I bought this. I don't know if I'm going to make a, a mold out of this or not. This was a dollar. Pink ticket. It was a dollar. <clears throat> it is crystal. It's got the different sports. The hockey, the, the baseball glove, the tennis balls, the tennis racket. Uh, basketball, skating, ballet. But when I flipped it over and I saw that... I thought for a dollar, there's no way I'm going to leave that there. It was made in Germany. It is crystal. So, I brought it for a dollar. Now, I may make a mold out of it. It's a picture frame. It stands up by itself. Or I may just put it up for sale on one of my online platform stores. I'm not sure yet. But there's no way I was going to leave a piece of crystal from Germany in there when it was only a dollar and then these right here these were a dollar and I bought these for us we used these upstairs they're just little you get them in the restaurant, you know, with ketchup. And, well, we use these, like, if we have different sauces or something. Um, and we have two of them. And so I just bought these because it was only a dollar. And that's something that Dan and I use. And this. I bought this. I really like the texture on the outside of the glass. And I bought this because I'm going to make a mold. And I am going to try that horrible, horrible uh, silicone rubber that I tried. I paid a dollar for this minus the 25% discount. So it cost me 75 cents. But I am going to try that other silicone rubber. I still have bukus of it left and I don't want to waste it. I am going to try to run, run it through my debubbler machine prior to pouring it and see if it helps. But I figured for a buck, you know, I like I like the design on there, the texture. So that's why I bought that. And these right here, I bought. These were half price. So it was $2.98 that I paid for all these. And I thought, why in the world hadn't somebody already snatched these? These are old. And, you know, there may be something wrong with them. I don't know. But this is the Serenity Prayer. Made in Japan. This is vintage. This is from the 60s. Here's the Lord's Supper. Same thing, made in Japan. These are all from the 60s. I paid $2.98 for all these, okay? For every one of them. The House Blessing. Same thing, made in Japan. These were all somebody's plates. I don't know why in the world. Jesus at the door. Same thing, made in Japan. Here's another House Blessings. Is it the same one? Yep, same one. Made in Japan. Another Lord's Supper. Made in Japan. I got one, two, three, four, five, six plates for $2.98. 
and these are going up on my online platform stores and I'm going to put them for nine dollars a piece I got a good deal so I'm going to give somebody else a good deal so that's what I got that's why I bought those And then the last item I got, Rose is going to remember this. I almost picked it up and I thought, no, I didn't want to pay full price. Oh, it was half price this time. I paid $1.98 for this. This is actually a Mikasa. Um, the label is not on here. But the lady at the thrift store, she had the same plate. And she knew exactly what it was. And I had wanted to buy this to make a mold out of it. It is the Nativity. Um, and all the, the design is on the back. So when I make the mold, I will lay it down like that. I will pour it this way. So the top of the plate will be the opening of the mold. Which you're not going to get this lip right here. Which I guess is okay because there is a little lip and I don't want to make it so where this part is in because oh my gosh do you know the amount of bubbles you get so no I'm just gonna lay it down this way and I'm gonna make the mold that way and that is the reason why I bought that alrighty and with the magic of the camera I switched from thrifting to casting and you see a full table and we're going to cast it all. I did go ahead with the, the gold flakes right here and I just took them and used this brush which is a makeup brush that I bought uh, and I put some of the gold flakes in all of the seashells. And I am getting ready for my market that's coming up in May. And so my casting is really going to start taking a, a, a front forward place uh, in my videos. Or uh, if y'all aren't happy with that, then I guess I can do this without videotaping it and, and do more resin. Y'all let me know. If you don't want to see the mixed to mold uh, casting as much anymore, let me know. And I'll just do it off camera. And we'll stick with resin. But right now, this is this is where my mind is. And uh, I need to get a bunch of it done. So, my thought process is I'm going to marbleize these three. That is not a seashell or ocean theme. But I want to get that done. Uh, and then we have three different uh, clamshells here. And this is actually like a seashell. And then, of course, y'all have seen these, the seashells. And I want to try out some of the new colors, too. One of them being turmeric. I don't know if we're going to try out the black right now. I can't really think of anything I would want to do unless I swirled that in black, but I really don't want to. Uh, but we may. Uh, but first of all, let's get some powder going. And I am going to mix up a bunch at one time. The powder is over here, y'all. And I'm going to just put some in this cup. I'm going to fill this cup up so I can put this over here. And I hope y'all can see this. Why is it so dark over there?
Let me see if I can fix the the light. I don't want it too dark. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to get one of these. I want a big one. I'm going to get one of these. And we're going to start with those. So I'm going to just I'm going to pour a little bit of water. And I have a piece of glitter floating in here. And I did put the uh, the pad up underneath so the, the cleanup would be easy. We're going to use turmeric. Nope, I'm going to cut this open. Now, this is a different brand of colorant. So, I am not sure. And if I don't like it, then I will mix it. This looks like orange to me. And you see the... You see the grittiness? Hmm... Something tells me this is not going to work as good as the other. Yeah, and this is light, light, light. See, this is the, the other brand that I got, but we're going to try it. We are going to try it. And that's why I'm putting them in these little bowls so I can decide. Uh, I'm trying to swish these over to where there's not anything. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, it's not going over there. Let me just mix it up some more. Maybe it Y'all see those, though, right? Two stubborn little pieces. I'm pretty stubborn, too, so let's see who wins out in this thing. Oh, good gracious. Okay, I'm pulling out the micro brush where I can grab a hold of it. There it goes. There, I got it. Let's see if I can just... Okay, it's just color. It's not dissolving. That was a hair. It's right there. Oh, I see those. Where is that coming from? Yeah, it's just color. That's all that is. Okay, well, we got it. I'm going to add some to this, but I don't think this is going to work.
Okay. Well, maybe. Not enough. I'm afraid for any of this, but maybe that one. Okay, and this is the brown resin crete pigment. You know what? I'm going to make this a little bit lighter, which means a little bit more powder. bit more water maybe a whole lot more water I put the other pigment in I am going to try to get the air bubbles down which there's not very many of them actually Know what that is? There was something in there. A piece of black. Okay. And we're going to put the brown pigment. Just putting two drops. And I'm going to sw swirl it. Okay. I don't think that's going to be enough. Let's just try it in this, but I don't think it's going to be enough. But we'll try. Gonna be enough for this? Oh, please be enough for this so I don't have to mix up more. Nope, not enough. So, I'm going to mix up a little bit more. a drop that looks almost pink to me which is strange not enough not enough water and definitely not enough color but that's okay i'm going to shake it all together i hope and blend it let 
let me move these over here. Do you want to top it off? Okay. Now, I'm just going to add some more water to this right on top. And I'm going to add a little bit more. Of the turmeric. One, two, three. I'm going to just add three this time. Okay. I'm going to add probably all of this. I'm going to need more powder. And y'all remember when I told you I got so excited that I got an email from uh, Bria Reef saying that uh, they were going to send me some free mix and mold as a thank you for all of my videos. I had never heard back when I contacted them and said, oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Here's my address. I never heard back from them again. So I don't know what that means. Uh And these pieces that I'm pouring are quite large. And that's the reason why I'm using this big silicone bowl. You know, I have these. I don't ever use them, but I bought them. I don't know. Would these do better? These are the ones that uh, you get with your mixed mold. Okay. That is not very dark. But it's not white. But I want it a little bit. Try one more. I don't like this color as well as I do the other color. But I do like the fact that I can get sort of a, a beige gold color, a very light one with that. So it serves its purpose. Just to that's not a whole lot for this amount. I don't. Okay. And here again, we're pouring in this one. And I am pouring on that right there. Uh, okay, I need a little bit more. So once again, I'm just going to take what's already in there. I'm going to add some powder. I'm going to take it over here. You're not going to see me. I'm going to add some powder to it. Mix 
mix it up. We need more water. Get the air bubbles out, yeah. You see what I'm doing? I can see the color. And I'm trying to get it so where the color. Okay, this mold is wonky. And this is why I put it on this paper. <laughs> the mold is wonky. Okay. I have a little bit left, so... Putting one drop of that in, not two, but one. And let's swirl this around and see if we can get this shell. I don't think we can, I think. Oh, maybe. Ooh, wee. Maybe. Oh, almost. Okay, I'm going to mix it just a little bit, though. Not much, but just a little bit to fill that up. And I'm doing it in this little cup right here. Yep, I added too much. I knew I was going to do that. I knew it. Okay. I can feel it when I do it. <laughs> as soon as I start stirring. Okay. Here we go. This is the right consistency right here. And 
I'm going to pour just a touch, not even. I put it on the stick. Do you see what I did? I put it on the stick and I'm going to, I'm going to get, and that was just one drop. And so, um, maybe I took too much of it off. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. Just to Okay, good enough. And now I do have this. And I don't want to waste it. So let me put some color into it. Hmm, I don't know what color. Put a little bit of yellow. No. Okay. Let's just put a drop of turmeric with a touch of brown and see what happens with just a. Not even a. Okay. What I did, and I'm going to swirl that. And I'm going to pour it. Oh, let's pour it in this one. Pour in this one. Okay, let's pour it in this one. Not enough. Okay, we're making it up a little bit more. I say a little bit more it always ends up being a whole lot more okay, maybe I got it right this time though So I'm, I'm putting it on the paper here, and then I'm picking up a little bit off of here, just to see the slightest little, because I don't want it real, real dark in here. So there we go. See what it's happening? And we're going to finish filling that up. Yeah, I got too much. I'll finish that in just a minute. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to swirl this. I hope y'all can see this over here. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Over here. I hope you can. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, we got all those. Okay, let's move these out of the way. These are set enough. And that way we can get the ones we still need to pour. Okay, I'm going to toss that. And we're going to use a different one because I don't want to stop and clean that out right now. Okay, I'm going to do these. I want those in blue, so I'm going to get these right here so I can pour these. I was going to do this, wasn't I? Okay. Oh, goodness, I'm almost out of water. So let's get some more water. That's going to be white. And then I need a smaller one for blue. I just want a little one to do blue in. There is something in this. red I can't get it out is it a piece of glitter yes it is it is a red piece of glitter let me try that see if I can't get it out because that sticks to the silicone There. Okay. Using that. Oh, there's a hair in this. I know I just cleaned all this out. Black hair. Where's the black hair coming from? Do we have a... I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me pour some. No, I'm not pouring it. Let me put some more of the casting powder. And yes, we are using mix to mold 
It is my favorite casting powder of all times. I've used them all. Well, no, I have not used Lutz Resin. But I honestly can't see any reason to use it when I'm just happy with mixed mold. Okay. I know the color I want to use in this is Jade Blue. But... Oh, no, I've used that. Why isn't it coming out? Is it stopped up? Yep, it was stopped up. Oh, this was supposed to be white. Oh, no, I made a boo-boo. This was supposed to be the white one. I don't want to do jade blue. I guess I'll do this right now in jade blue. It is a pretty color. It is a very, very pretty color. But I wanted it just as the marble color in the seashells. I'm going to have way too much for just this one. But have no fear. The other molds are right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, a vision just popped in my head as soon as that came out of my mouth of underdog. You know, the dog in the telephone booth. Have no fear, underdog is here. Ah. <laughs> uh. A little bit more. It took almost a... Well, I didn't fill this cup up. Filled it like three-fourths of the way up, though. I am going to have way, way too much for that one. I think... I mean, yeah. I say that, and sometimes I don't have enough. I think this produces more bubbles, though. I think this mixer thing produces more bubbles than the just the popsicle stick. Some people call them lollipop sticks. Sticks, lollipop. Some people call them tongue depressors. Some people just call them wood sticks. <laughs> They've always been known to pop, uh, to us as popsicle sticks, but I sort of like the lollipop sticks. Okay, I want that a little bit darker. So I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Let me get this out. Make sure it's mixed up good. I still see. Okay, and I'm swirling it around trying to get the bubbles out. <laughs> okay. 
Now what I'm going to do, really? I just used this. Evidently it wasn't this one I used. No. Whew, I'm glad. Yep. This is what I'm going to do. I'm using the same color, but I'm going to marbleize it with the same color. Now let's just see. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, I hope that turns out like it looks like it's going to. Oh, wow. Oh, good gracious. I couldn't have asked for better. Let me... Okay, oh, I hate to waste that. There's not enough in it to make a difference. But... Oh, a bird. Let me get my... Now, I have this. This is like little rocks. Let's, let's just put the, the excess in these today. Whatever excess we have, I'll just throw in this thing today and we'll see what it comes out looking like how about that I just really did not want to waste that we've got a meeting we're going to tonight For the community. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I hope that turns out the way I think it's going to turn out. And it's it's setting right in the way. Okay. <laughs> we'll work with it. We're not going to move that. We'll move the other stuff. And let's just go with it. I'm going to have to open up another mixed mold. Container. white in this getting a new one out. Oh, wow. 
Wow, white is white, isn't it? There's definitely not enough. Let's see. Trying to get the bubbles out. Okay. Where's the jade blue? Nope, that's green. I keep picking that green up. Green, jade blue. I'm going to start with just two. Let's go with three drops. Just three drops. That's all I did. Just three drops. going that way because the seashell Okay. A little bit, just a little bit more. I think I have one open already, but I don't think it's out of the plastic. This might be an issue here. make sure oh oh this is busted okay I not only am worried about not having enough I've got a busted bag
Okay. Let's see. Let's hope this is enough. Okay, and I have a little bit left, so let me pour it on top of this. We'll get this in here. Okay, so what do we have left? We have this left. Hmm. I don't think that's going to be enough. And I'm getting chunks. That's okay. We're going to go with the flow here. Whoop, yep, I'm spilling it now. Okay, I always wondered what the white was for. <laughs> We're fixing to find out what the white is for. But we're also going to do something else. Now this is white. Gotta open it. So that's the white. Now y'all don't freak out here. Oh wow, 
does turn white, y'all. Are you seeing this? See the white? I'm going to add more white on top of the gold and see if I can't get the powder. I'm going to have to order some more white. Look. See the white? Okay, we're going to try it. Add more white to it. Come on. Yeah, this one's thick. Really, really thick. Thicker than what I normally pour it. But I'm going to have to put a little bit more. Put a little bit more in there. Okay. So here we go. Just a little bit more. Okay. And I have to get it out of this bag. It's not opened up yet. That's tore. You can see the mess that I'm making over here, y'all. I have powder everywhere. <laughs> I can't get this open, honey. Can you get up this open? Oh, never mind. I got it. But thank you. Did you need something? Okay, well. It's not till six. Dan's down here reminded me that we got to be somewhere at 6. Is John and Ashley ready to go? Well, they were going to drive, so we need to find out if they're going to go. Dan is the type of person that loves leaving like 45 minutes early. He doesn't mind sitting there waiting. I am totally the opposite. I don't like being late. Don't get me wrong. I don't like being late at all. But I don't mind being right on time either. When he takes me to the doctor's office, bless his heart. He says, now honey, we got to leave. At least an hour. Because we're 30 minutes away. And I'm thinking, so I have to sit there. Once I get there for 30 minutes, and then you never get to go in when it's your actual, you know, appointment time. And it's like, so I get to sit there for an additional 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, we're going to try the black. Only because I have a little bit of white. And I want to see how black we can get. This is black. 
and I'm going to put it in this little stone thing here. How about that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's a little bitty white. Let's see how black we can get. I want to know. Wow, that's pretty black, y'all. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. Do you see how black that is? Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Let's have some fun here. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting excited now. Wait a minute. Let's do a drop of white. Let's do a drop of this blue over here. The blue that I love. The jade blue. Okay. And then let's do just a little bit of this gold. Okay. And then we're going to swirl it. Are you watching this? We're going to swirl that. And then we're going to pour it in here. And see what we get. We just have a little bit left. So I just wanted to see what we would end up with. But oh my gosh, that is black. Look at that on the stick. Ooh, 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 wee. Oh, and yes, indeedy, I have made a mess. I have succeeded in making a major mess here. Oh, he probably is telling me because I'm going to have to get cleaned up. I don't know what in the world I was thinking of. Okay. Okay, yes, I'm trying to get this off of here, and I'm leaving you right here with me. So you can see what I do. Okay. been down here for a while how long is this video an hour and 24 minutes well it's better than most I may have to come back after the meeting and finish this up I guess if I have enough battery life on my phone I didn't get the starfish. Oh, I hate that. I think 
at it all except for the starfish. And this is why I use this when I'm doing casting powder. This is wonderful when you're using casting powder. Can you imagine what my cleanup would have been if I hadn't been using it? I don't even want to know. And we poured quite a few pieces. Yes, we did. And D D D D. Okay, I am going to have to, uh, stop, because I've got to get cleaned up before the meeting, and hopefully, uh, my battery doesn't go dead in my phone. <laughs> I don't know how long the meeting is going to be. But uh, that way I'll give it time to really uh, set in here good too. And so I will be back hopefully uh, when we get back home. If for some reason you're seeing this video and you don't see the end, it's because my phone died and I want to go ahead and get this out. And I will just do a second short video afterwards with me demolding all these. But hopefully it will be one video. But I just wanted to explain that now just in case it happens. Alrighty. See you in a few. I hope. Hello, we are back. And yes, it's I think it's like 8 o'clock. We were gone for a couple of hours. So all this should be good to go. I hope it all turns out good. We're going uh, to demold these first. And some of these are just going to be partial little things. I just didn't want to throw it away. And we can see. Okay, that's falling off. I had a band-aid on my finger. And we will sand that down. That wasn't on the way. That's what these look like. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I can see where you could use these for different things. But the one I really want to see is we did the black, remember? Oh my word. Can y'all see that? Oh, it looks like a stone. Do you see? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes, indeedy. Oh, I absolutely love that. It looks like a stone. Look at that. Let me, I'm going to bring it up so you, look at that. It looks like a stone. Oh boy. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited about that. That's this mold, but I'm excited about the black and the colors. That was gold mica powder that I used. Okay, let's get the little ones. We've done this before, but we'll go ahead and, and pop these out because I, I do want to use these. Of course, I love these right here. I really, really love these. 
uh, molds. And this has got wow. That's cool. Look at that. Now these have been in the mold for a couple of hours now. There we go. Can't get over the texture on these and the detail. And I just, I love these. I just really, really, really like these seashells. And I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit. But I will do that later. But these were really, really cool. Okay. Let's go with this one. Like that. I do like that. Okay. This is the, I guess I'm going from the smallest to the largest. How about that? And this is the ones that I put a little bit of gold foil in prior to uh, pouring. Oh, and I like, I like the gold flakes through here. Oh, and I like that color a lot. Now, these are really, really cool really smooth these poured really really good okay there's that which ones i guess we'll go with this one oh wow Look at I'm going to bring this up to two so you can see. Look at the pattern on that. Do you see the pattern? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I really, really. Okay, let me bring it back one okay i really really like this and i love the vibrancy of the colors Ugh. and i'm going to do i'm going to put a glaze on this it's going to make it look almost iridescent uh, once it dries i'm not going to do it i'm going to let it set for a couple of days and then i will show you we may we may have a video uh, of just painting. I have several things that I need to paint. So we may just, I may do a couple of videos on painting some of this stuff. Let me know in the comments below 
if you would like me if you would like to see some videos of me actually painting uh, some of this stuff and finishing it off. Okay, there's that. Oh, I like that too. Oh, I like the finishes on this a lot. Oh. Oh, these are sweet. Oh, yes, they are. You see the difference? You see, this is really bright and vivid. You see how this is toned back? Oh, I I love the, the fact that you get so many different looks. This is awesome. Okay. I'm trying to move this stuff over. Which, which one do we go with now? Let's go with this one. Okay. Oh, I can tell you right now, I love this. Oh, my word. Look at that. Oh, yes, indeedy. Oh, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. All, <laughs> all I can say is yes, yes, and yes, more. Um, yeah. Okay. This one. Something tells me that this one is going to have a hole in it somewhere. I don't know why I'm thinking. I'm hoping I'm wrong, okay? But it's the way that it did when I poured it. And I'm having to bring it up to me. I'm sorry. I'm having to. In order to get them out. That's the bottom. Oh, wow. Oh. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh. This is so much fun. I could do this all day long. Really, I could. Okay. I've got to... Bring that over. Oh, this is the one that I put the gold in. That I experimented around and, and put the gold mica in. This other stuff has got the gold leaf that I put in prior to pouring. But remember when I thought, oh, well, I'll try to put the gold leaf in. I mean, I had put some gold leaf in, but that's mica. That I poured in and marbled it too. And I absolutely love that. I hope y'all can see that. That's mica. Look at the lines. Look at that. Oh, I'm happy with those. I am so happy with those. What does that look like with these shells placed in there? Because I'm, I'm thinking about selling them that way. 
filled with seashells that that are actually made too. What do y'all think? Or even on this, making some sea. I mean, look, and it's all made. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Now, this is the one I thought was going to be so pretty because I love this color. Oh, I just popped that open. Sorry, y'all. My finger just split open. Sorry, guys. Part of the hazard of being a crafter. Okay. I'm going to try to roll it. I'm going to pull it up next to me. Oh, I absolutely love this. Oh, wow. That is so cool looking. I wonder what that is. Oh, it came off, so. What is that? Wow. Yeah, I absolutely love this piece right here. Oh, wow. Okay, guys back to so you can see all the pieces that we did let me know which one is your favorite oh i have i have several i i have several look at that Oh, th these are just absolutely gorgeous. I love them all. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. We got 12 done. Alrighty. Plus the... Oh, plus this. We can't forget this. This is the coolest thing ever. 
Look at that. Okay, I'm having so much fun with this mixed mold. If you haven't tried it, I would suggest, I really would suggest you trying the mixed mold. I've tried them all. The mixed mold is my favorite above all of them. I've not tried the Let's Resin, but I can't see where the Let's Resin could touch this. And it's a whole lot more expensive than the mixed mold. So, I, I would most definitely recommend uh, you giving it a shot anyway. Uh, you can get the small pack at Michael's, and normally Michael's runs uh, a sale most of the time, and they do have the one pound that you can get. I think it's nine ninety nine. <clears throat> and if you just wanted to try it, you can't do that with any other casting powder out there. You can't even try it. Uh, and so just grab a bag for nine ninety nine. Uh, wait till Michael's has a twenty percent off sale. I'm telling you, if you do, if you use it once. You'll be sold, and and you'll definitely uh, be buying the bigger one. Um, I I have never been disappointed with this product ever. And uh, Timu does have some really, really, really good. Uh, pigment colors for this uh j diction does too though now j diction does have some really good um uh, pigment powders also and uh see i used j diction's brown uh, because i didn't have a brown and that's what you see there and then i used the turmeric which Gave me that color and that color and that color and all this color mixed in with a couple of drops of brown right into where I had mixed that with the uh, casting compound. And you can play with the colors. It, it just, you know, it just opens up a whole new world of creativity for you. It's, it's just, and, and the fact that I know now that I can use dry mica, it's dry mica on there. It ain't coming off. That's dry mica. That's dry mica on there. That's in, that's in it. So, you know, that's just... The layers. Look at how the layers were created. Um, so yes, I, I am very excited about this product. And yes, I do love uh, using this product. And that's why I do so many pieces at one time. Um, and if I had an overabundance of this mixed mold, I, I would probably pour every mold that I own with the mixed mold. Every one of them. And I know I'd be, I would be happy with it. Uh, this is just, this is just incredible. I don't know what else to say. And I hope you do try it. And if you do, please let me know. Uh, join our Facebook group so uh, you can share pictures of, of when you do the mixed mold. A lot of people over there that uh, have shared their pictures. And, and one of our subscribers shared a picture of her grandson, six-year-old grandson. And he was so proud, and he should have been, where he, he made the tray with the flower and a little candle holder, and he did it himself with mixed mold, and it came out perfect. And he, you could tell he was so proud of it, and it was like, it was just fantastic. And I just adored that picture. And um, if if you come over to Facebook and join our group, it's free; it doesn't cost anything. Um, but we share pictures back and forth, and and we. Uh, throw ideas off of each other, and um, it's just a fun place to be. And I would love to see each and every one of you over there. And the link for that is in the description below. 
I mean, so I hope you have a good night. Uh, this is going to be a late one. I've been trying to get them up early in the morning. Uh, but we had that meeting. We went to a town meeting, actually. Uh, they were trying to vote in a, a rezoning. And yay, we won. We stopped the rezoning. And we, we were so happy. Uh, the place was packed. And, and we all had signs that said, no, uh, vote no. And yes, we all clapped when uh, they stopped it from happening, which you're not supposed to do. And, you know, they're up there with a the little gavel, but didn't stop us from clapping. And that's where I went uh, today. And uh, I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, but tomorrow, I think we're going to do some resin. Not that I don't want to just jump right back into this, because I do. I just so want to do this. Um, but I've got some coasters that I want to make with the little bumblebees, and those are the ones that I printed off. And so we'll probably do that. I have not forgotten about the heat, uh, the iron-on heat transfer either. I know I said that a couple of days ago. And there's just not enough time in the day. I, I keep getting all these ideas in my head. And because I'm so spontaneous i sort of just go with the flow and some things just get on the back burner but i promise i do want to i want to try out that new tool and so i will be doing that in the next couple of days and um there's a couple other things that i really want to get to also um and i really wish i could show you but these are way too wet They're, they feel cold and that's how you know. And, and they need to dry out before I put anything on them. But I am going to show you uh, a new glaze. Uh, it's going to be my own homemade glaze. And I'll show you how I do it, okay? And I can tell you right now, it's going to be in a spray bottle. I'm going to put it in a spray bottle. Uh, it will be a sealer. and uh, But it will be in a spray bottle where you don't have to worry about uh, brush strikes. I don't like brush strikes, uh, and it does not matter. I don't care who tells you otherwise. I have not found any sealer out there yet that you use a brush with that you don't have brush strokes with, and that you can't visually see the uh, the brush strokes. And I am just one that I don't like the brush strokes. Um, so I'm all the time looking for things. So where I don't have to do the brush. Uh, watercolors. Now, you don't have the brush strokes on the watercolors because it's liquid. And and, um, and I do a lot of watercolor painting. Uh, I just don't like brush strokes, you know. That's just me personally, though. Uh, but I am going to show you how I, I have figured out what to use on that and it is my uh, own homemade uh, recipe and I'm excited about showing that to you um, and that will be uh, coming up probably in a couple of days because these need to dry out uh, and I'm going to give them a full 48 hours to dry out even though they're you know on my rack and one day I'll show you this rack right now it's loaded with stuff so I'm not going to show it to you right this second <laughs> I cleaned it off once <laughs> and now it's loaded up again with stuff that should not be on here uh, but I am going to move all these over here going to pour these two and I forgot see these those I'm going to pour next because this is all ocean themed oh but I love this and I know I'm going to end up keeping this I absolutely love this I love the color I love the pattern 
And yes, I know that I could go in and I could highlight. I, I just, I love, I, I just love the two-tone. And this was the same color. And so I want you to know that the difference, the, the variation of this is exactly the same color. One is just darker than the, the other. This was the jade blue that I used. But part of this is where I just put the pigment right in on top of this color. And so it gave you a two-tone color. And I absolutely love every bit of this. And of course, I love the pattern too. And this is a really good size jar. This would be a perfect planter. It doesn't have a hole in it. But it's pretty thick. Yeah, I'm I'm so happy with all these. This has been a good day. Everything turned out really, really good. But I've had nothing but really good. Uh, I, I've been very fortunate and very blessed with this mixed mold. I've not had any issue with it at all. Uh... Maybe it was just, you know, maybe this is my niche, 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 niche. <laughs> it's definitely something I enjoy doing, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to try to get it on up to YouTube, but I have to say this, this first on my phone, and sometimes it takes an hour to save it. And right now it's 8.12, uh, so it might be about 10 o'clock before it gets up. But I want to thank each and every one of you for coming. Uh, I say this every time, but I'm going to say it again. Um, I realize that without each and every one of you, I wouldn't even have a channel. So I just want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, um, I do appreciate each and every one of you. And I will continue to say thank you. Um, and I forgot to introduce myself again, didn't I? I am so sorry. If you're new here, my name is Beth. Um... Uh, I know my channel says Southern Lady uh, Artistic Creations. I started this channel just to do a few little videos, mainly personal. Uh, and I just threw Southern Lady up there without it even thinking too much about it. Um, and then it turned into Southern Lady Artistic Creations. And um, I know my name's not up there anywhere. I probably need to put it up there. But my name is Beth. And uh, I just want to welcome all of you to my channel if you've not here, been here before. If you're not subscribed yet, I would love for you to consider doing so. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's the funny looking cat at the, I think at the bottom of the screen, unless you're on your TV. And then it's a little, it's a little more difficult uh, to subscribe if you're watching your on your TV. I think YouTube needs to... Uh, uh, revisit that uh, and make it a little bit easier. Um, of course, that's just my opinion. <laughs> and um, I guess that's it. I've covered the Facebook. Um, I've asked you to subscribe. Oh, did I ask you to like? Thumbs up the, the video. Oh, Y'all are so good about that. And I do so appreciate it. Thank you again. And um, with that all being said, uh, I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you again. Bye-bye.